So here is the Galoob um, F-16 Battle Squads. This is a another prototype that uh, never made it to market. So this was one of the, there were two ships that, uh, as far as I know, were created for the second line that actually did get released as prototypes. So this F-16, which, um, you know, I have one, and then uh, there is another collector out there, Jesse Hughes, that has another version of this that's actually a different color scheme. So I'll talk through just uh, some of kind of what, we, what you get with this and then, um, you know, some of the different features to it. So you can obviously see with this one, um, the probably the biggest thing that stands out is the black cockpit. So this cockpit actually is screwed on. So when I got this, I was thinking, you know, I'll be able to, this must be painted and I'll be able to fix it. But as I actually tried to take it off, um, it's stuck on there pretty good. And I was actually able to pry up uh, on here. And you can actually see that that's, that portion right there is loose. So I could pry it up and see inside. And there is a little screw hole in there, like a, a little sleeve for a screw. So the hood is screwed on. Not 100% sure why that happened in this specific model. But... Um, you know, one of the major differences between this one and the version that Jesse has is that in his version, it's a different color scheme. It does have a cockpit that opens and it comes with two figures. So this one doesn't come with any, didn't come with any figures. I'm not sure whether it did or not. I got this secondhand from, you know, um, from somebody else. So now all of that being said, this is still a super cool looking plane. So um, you've got uh, kind of this front view like it was flying at you. Um, you've got the symbols on the side, the numbers, all of the detail work to the top of the plane. And then you've got the engine here in the back, lots of detail in there. And then on the bottom, the one thing that's interesting about this specific model is in most of the other battle squads, the missile launcher that sits on the underneath is actually screwed into the plane. So there is a separate component typically in the middle where they actually put the screw in through the inside of it. So I've tried taking a couple off and broken them. That's how I know that they're screwed on. In this specific model, it's not screwed on. Um, also, the the hole here um, and the slot looks very similar, but it's too small. So you wouldn't be able to take one of the uh, missile launchers off of the other planes and screw it onto this one. But it does have these other um, big rockets on here. These guys are uh, look to be glued on. They, they're they kind of a soft rubber material. You can kind of see as I'm moving that, um, but they don't appear to be coming off. The one thing that is really cool about this is the landing gear. So, you know, when it's in a uh, kind of like a, a sideways profile like this, you actually don't see the landing gear other than this tiny little tab. And so this is the front landing gear. So you can kind of pull this out and you can see there's been some wear on that, obviously. But the other part of this is how the other landing gear comes out. So there's this little compartment that opens and on the inside is where the landing gear is. And you can see how that's attached, which is kind of a unique way that this was done to where now what you can do is pull this out. And as you take it out, it actually will attach to the back of this thing. I wanna be really delicate with this, make sure you don't break it. Um, and so this is what it looks like with the landing gear out. So when it's actually sitting down, it, it actually looks really good. Um, you know, you could do it either way with the landing gear out or in. So, um, that's basically it on this. The, um, again, uh, I would be, you know, really excited to hear whether or not there's anybody else out there that has a version of this. Um, you know, again, this was you know, likely a line that was going to come out and never actually made it to production because, um, you can see on here 
on the bottom there, it's 1999 is the year um, Galoob was bought by Hasbro. So uh, from what I heard, once that happened, they just shut down all production on, you know, whatever was in the works. So, you know, there may have been a few of these. If there's any others out there, you know, please uh, post some pictures below. I'd love to see them. So that's it. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Thanks.